What's going on you guys? We're gonna talk about being a simp because let's be real, most of us have been a simp at one point in time in our lives. Maybe there's some high lofty person out there that's never been a simp ever in their life, but that certainly was not me. Uh, it's a big motivation for why I even started this channel. Okay, the word didn't exist back then when I was, when I was being a simp. It, we just called them, I don't know, a, a beta male or whatever the term was at that point, a chode, I don't know. Uh, just, I was, I was a frustrated guy. Uh, AFC, average frustrated chump. That was one thing that the, the old pickup people used to say back in the day. So when I was in this period, I entered three stages, three stages of simput. So we're gonna talk about what those stages were. Okay, you might be in one of those stages right now. Okay, so uh, it was a tough journey, but I made it through. And if I can do it, so can you. This is something that I help out with my clients every single day in my program. So the first stage of simphood is basically where you feel like you can't get anybody. You feel like you can't get anybody and maybe you find one girl, one girl that you like and you fall madly in love with her because that's your only opportunity. This is the only person who you feel like is gonna like you and you're gonna like them back. And so the only thing that you can do is do everything you possibly can to try and win this person over. This person was someone that I met in college and yes, she broke my heart. And rightfully so, because I was not ready to actually be dating that kind of woman. So at that point in time, I had a lot of anger towards women. I had a lot of frustrations. I had a lot of self-doubt. I didn't like myself and I didn't like the people around me and didn't, couldn't see a reason for them to like me for me. So I had to do things, super nice things, like uh, catering to her every whim, buying her things. You know, always listening to her, running to her at the drop of a hat. Literally at the drop of a hat, I would run to her. Her hat dropped one time and I ran and I picked it up. <laughs> okay, So if that was happening uh, to me at that point, do you think it ended well? No, absolutely it didn't end well. Okay, and looking back on it, it probably ended the best way that it possibly could. You know, it was right for her to break my heart so I could learn from it and be a better person after and not act like that in the future. Okay, so that was the first stage. So once it happened, it hurt me. I was depressed. I, I delved into more anger, but I brought myself out of the dark. Darkness. And what I did was I started writing things down that I felt like I needed to start doing. So uh, what I did was I started going out more. I started, um, you know, trying to better myself. Now, did I have a whole lot of results? Um, I had some results, but not that great of results, which brought me to stage number two of my simphood journey, which is basically that I had people that were interested in me. They just weren't the ones that I liked, and I would still obsess over that one girl that I was interested in. So before it was like nobody. I had nobody in my life. Now I have some options. I have some options, but I'm ignoring the options that I have and obsessing over one particular girl and still doing the bad things that I was doing before. Okay, I was still buying her things. I was still, you know, um, thinking that, you know, seeing these overly crazy romantic thoughts, running to her, always following her lead, trying to make her happy no matter what, not considering my happiness. Okay, it was very low, very extremely, uh, whatever, beta male behavior, whatever you want to call it, okay? I remember there was one time where um, I, this, this one girl who I was like, not even dating, like friends with benefits at the most, and I would go to parties and I would like almost follow her around. It was so creepy and weird and I was like doing everything. I was like talking to her about guys that she was actually interested in. It was bad, dude. During that period of time, I was definitely being a simp but I also had options. Like, believe it or not, there were some women that would have gotten with me if I would have let them. And they weren't terrible looking, you know? They weren't like <laughs> some deformed creature or whatever. Like, they were, they were real girls. <laughs> uh, but I wasn't seeing them. I was so focused on this one person um, that I prevented myself from doing that. And then, obviously, she ended up getting with some other guy. Um, it really hurt me, but it also led me into my journey, which I got to the next stage of my simphood which was stage three. Now stage three was I actually found someone who was into me. I found someone who was into me. And get this, it was the girl who I had been a simp with in stage one. I got with that girl, all right? So I get with this girl, but what happens? As soon as I get with this person, because by the way, I had options. I wasn't acting like a simp on a regular basis. I was doing the right things. You know, I had a good life. So she comes along. And then I start doing the simp things again. I drifted right back into my simp. But so yes, I had options. Yes, I had other women that were interested in me. I was giving them the time of day. But as soon as I got into what was a relationship, I started to act like a simp. 
okay? Now, I don't know if you guys are, maybe you have a lot of options, maybe you do the right things at the beginning, you're good at building attraction, but once things start going good and now you actually like love this person or you really care about them, that's when you start acting like a simp. That's the third stage of simphood. And what really needs to happen is at the end of the day, all of these come down to one thing. There's something within your life that's missing. You're not fulfilling yourself. So you look to the other person to be able to do those things with them. So at each of these different stages, there was just magnified. Stage one, hated my life, couldn't stand myself, couldn't stand anybody around me. That was stage one. So if somebody came into my life, that became my obsession. Now, stage two, my life is okay, it's a little better. I have some people that are involved, but there's still something a little bit missing. And so when somebody comes in and fulfills that gap, I obsess over them, drive them away by being a simp. Okay, third stage, life is going great, things are going good, you have all the things necessary. So you attract that person into your life and you get them at the beginning, but then once they're there, you stop doing the things that you were doing before and you drift back into your simp-like uh, state, okay? And then you drive her away. You have to maintain what you were doing before when you won her over. You don't change your life so much. You don't change all the different things about yourself. Yes, compromise is good, but don't lose yourself. And then you get to stage four, which is you're no longer a simp. <laughs> you don't have to experience those things anymore. You keep yourself on your journey. You don't let women that you're into knock you down uh, and you continue to be a man. And so that's where I'm at obviously right now. That was a big motivation for me starting this channel because I see guys at the different stages that they're in and I wanna help them. And so that's why I have the videos that I have. Now, back in the day, we didn't call it a simp like I said, but uh, you know, the more I've seen this word, uh, the more it cracks me up because while the words may change, the principles always stay the same. And this is what I help out with my clients on a regular basis. So thanks for watching you guys. If you made it and consider subscribing, come out with videos like that every single week. If you wanna get access to some of my free trainings, please sign up for the mailing list and hope to see you soon. Good luck out there, you guys.